Daily Prayer Friday, February 19th, 2021 Friday after Ash Wednesday Daily Prayer Friday, February 19th, 2021 Friday after Ash Wednesday. The Holy Gospel according to Saint Matthew. Then the disciples of John came to him with the question, How is it that we and the Pharisees fast on many occasions, but not your disciples? Jesus answered them, how can you expect the wedding guest to mourn as long as the bridegroom is with them? The time will come when the bridegroom will be taken away from them, and then they will fast. The Gospel of the Lord. May God bless you this land with a greater desire to follow the Lord Jesus and reach out in loving service to others. In the reading from Isaiah, the people are complaining to God, why do we fast and you do not see it? We afflict ourselves and you take no note of it. God responds by pointing out to them that their fasting leads to quarreling and fighting. The fasting which God desires should lead to freeing the oppressed, feeding the hungry, sheltering the homeless, and clothing the naked. That is, to acts of compassion, love, and mercy. In the Gospel, Jesus also talks about fasting. He reminds the disciples of John that while the groom is present, the wedding guests do not fast. When the groom is gone, then fast is appropriate. Jesus used the analogy to speak of his disciples not fasting while he was present with them. Yet, when they experience his absence, it will give them cause to fast. Fasting, therefore, should not be just doing with less or no food, although that might be healthy for some of us, so that we might lose weight. The real purpose of fasting is not that. Fasting is the emptying of those aspects of our lives which hinder us from the full awareness of the Lord Jesus' presence with us and the awareness of what God wants us to do with our lives particularly in respect to others and their needs. If our fasting from food or other pleasures in our lives leads us to being grouchy or angry or fighting with others, it is not the fasting God wants. That was part of the point of the first reading. Fasting should allow us to cleanse ourselves of what is surplus in our lives, even that which we think we need, and focus on people who are in real need, the oppressed, the hungry, the homeless, the naked. We open our eyes to those suffering not only in our local communities, but anywhere in the world. 
this idea is incorporated in the spiritual and corporal works of mercy, which we should be practicing on a regular basis. Fasting should lead us to helping others and also to remind us of the need to remove the excesses in our lives. If we cling to anything that prevents us from seeing God and God's presence in the lowly, then we need to let of it. Let go of it. Another way of looking at fasting is to say that when we do not sense the presence of the Lord Jesus in our lives, that is the time we need to empty ourselves of whatever is blocking our awareness of His presence and refuel ourselves with the reality of God being with us. It should also open our eyes to the needs of others. As we look to those less fortunate, we will see the Lord Jesus, for Jesus unites himself with the deprived and needy. Fasting from food, from pleasurable activities, such as uh, movies and television and time on other electronics, and from spending money should lead us to be more giving to others in a way which we would have not have been if we had not fasted. Thus, if we spend a day fasting from food, or at least cutting some of the extras out, we could see the money to donate to a food bank. Fasting from watching a movie or a favorite television show could allow us time to spend visiting a sick friend, even if only through social media, or reading scripture or writing a letter to someone. Fasting from spending money could give us a little more to share with the charity particularly one which is trying to meet the needs of the unfortunate. And as we empty ourselves and focus on others, we will have a new and better awareness of God working in our lives. Today, we should think of some way we can empty ourselves, empty ourselves, let go of something, even of our time, so that we can give it to someone else, someone who needs it. In doing so, we will experience the Lord Jesus being with us and uniting us to another person. We will both be blessed and enriched, not only with doing without the thing, but with a greater awareness of God's presence. Fasting should allow us to empty ourselves so that we can be filled with God's love and God's presence, which we in turn share with others. The personal question or action for today what things in my life do I need to let go of? Things which prevent me from being more open to God's presence. How can I use my emptiness to share with others those gifts with which the Lord Jesus filled me? Who might benefit most from my fasting? Let us pray. Blessed are you, Lord God, ever present with us. Through your goodness, you bless us with many signs of your love. We sometimes become more attached to the signs of your love 
rather than to you, the giver of the science and gifts. We surround ourselves with things and fail to develop a relationship with you and with others. Help us to do with less things and devote ourselves more to relationships with you and with those who cross our paths, especially those who need our assistance the most. It's still in us the desire, the desire to fast. As we fast, help us focus not on ourselves and the deprivation we experience, which could lead us to resentment, anger, and frustration. Rather, help us see that as we empty ourselves of things, we can be filled with your love and share that love with others. We thank you for giving us your Son, who has lived a life of fasting from things and giving to others. May we follow the example of our Master Teacher and give glory to you. We pray this in the name of the Lord Jesus, your Son, and our brother who is living and reigning with you and the Holy Spirit, our one and only God, forever and ever. Amen. Tháng ngày hương sắc tỏa xa, tạ ơn Thiên Chúa, suốt đời mãi mãi không vơi, tình Chúa cao vời, tháng năm theo tôi đời đời. Chúa ơi, làm hương sắc của tôi, để tôi luôn luôn tin Chúa, và làm hương sắc của Chúa. Chúa ơi, làm hương sắc của tôi, để tôi luôn luôn tin Chúa, và làm hương sắc của Ngài. Chúa, 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 Chúa,